you can see many subsidiary shrines along the way. The first ones you will see are those of Goddess Lakshmi and Narasimha Swami. These shrines are placed side by side and are generally beautifully adorned with flowers. To your right side, you can see a relief sculpture of footprints placed upon a rock. These footprints are said to represent Lord Vishnu's feet and are fervently worshipped by devotees. On the walls behind this relief, you can see numerous swastikas drawn on it using vermilion and turmeric. These have been done by devotees as a sign of prayer. You should make one of them too as a symbol of your devotion and respect. Keep following the path and you will soon reach back to the entrance of the Mukhamantapa. Here, you can see a gold-plated statue of Lord Garuda to the right side. The most striking feature of this statue is the hooked nose of Garuda, which is representative of his beak when he is in bird form. The statue is in a kneeling position and has been intricately designed with a crown and majestic wings. We are done with the main part of the temple. Let us now take a small walk through the outer perimeter of the temple to enjoy the peaceful atmosphere.